Good morning, Maya Babak. Welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 89 today. Build day 89. Um, <clears throat> so far this morning, what I've seen just walking around the site, we're going to be continuing with plaster coating, um, fabricating the roof beams or these uh, top bond beams that they're doing. Um, also, they're doing the forms for those over on the master side of the house and near, near the office and plaster coating both on the guest side of the house and the other side of the, the master side of the house as well. Um, in the kitchen area, the uh, electrician is starting to rough in uh, some of the outlets for the major appliances, uh, being the um, oven and the refrigerator. I believe the rest they're going to wait uh, per the engineers uh, instructions they're going to wait to rough the uh, the countertop level uh, outlets in until they actually get a countertop in uh, so that they can they know exactly where to put those um, they've had instances with those in the past where they thought they had them at the right right height got the countertops in and they actually happen to be below countertop height so uh, to <clears throat> prevent that or for him to prevent that he's trying to try in this method where they're They'll wait, they'll just tap those in, um, plaster them back over, paint it over when they're, when they're at that point. So that'll be part of the finishing stage in that area. Um, <clears throat> starting to run the uh, mixer, so they're starting to mix the plaster coat, the mortar that they're gonna use for the plaster coat. And the welder should be here shortly. They will continue with the, um, the trusses over the top of the garage area and maids suite. Um, so, as they come in, um, I'll show you what all they're doing, and let's get started. All right, we're gonna start out in the bedroom today. Master's bedroom, looks like we're getting ready to do uh, plaster coating. They're gonna do this, start on this whole section on this side. Um, so the first thing that Mr. Carlito is going to work on is this piece here that needs to be completed and then they'll work their way down the rest. Okay, coming out of the master, uh, looking at the front side of the office, this um, bond beam at the top is being uh, formed so that they'll be able to pour concrete on it a little later today. Here in the kitchen area, Mr. Tok is roughing in electrical outlets for where the appliances will go. Okay, coming back through bedroom number three. The bond beam at the top has been fabricated. So as the guys finish on that side with the forming, they will start over on this side. Um, back here in bedroom number two, Mr. Ben is flying solo today. Um, he is working on plaster coating of this whole wall uh, today. Over here in the back, Mr. Edmund, our warehouse man, or Bodeguero as they call it here, Bodeguero, is um, cleaning out some of the construction debris. Starting to get it back down to just normal fill material. And then in the back, we do have uh, several of our laborers that are mixing mortar uh, for the different locations. And again, here on the back of the house, they're gonna be uh, doing plaster coat for the top half here okay um, as you can see up on top the welders are on site and they are starting to put in the bracing required uh, for the uh, web trussing all right let's do a walk around mid-morning still doing some more plaster coat and the welders are working on the one of the trusses coming down to the corner Yes, 
they're working from the top of the hip joint here down to the corner over the maid's room then this uh, the the other one the next one they're going to connect is from the same location down to this corner and following that will be let's see get a better perspective here <clears throat> following that connection so yes following the current connection they're going to go from that same location down to this corner following that they'll go from the back of the joint where the hip joint meets uh, the roof or oh, the ridge here and it'll come down to right here about where Mr. Uh, Jericho is standing uh, actually it'll be in that corner right there <clears throat> That'll give us the the angle for this side of the uh, roof. All right, let's go take a look inside, see where everybody's at. <clears throat> Mr. Tuck has been working on the home run from the excuse me from the outlet for the refrigerator that's going to go here. This is the only appliance on that circuit. So it has its own circuit to go, its own home run to go to the circuit panel out into the garage. So that's what he's working on. And then back here in the master suite area, pardon me. Working on uh, forms for the bigite, as they call it, it's the, the bond beam at the top. <clears throat> Over on the far end, you may see the guy with the um, the red bandana on his head. He's working the uh, plaster coat for that far wall he just finished. Alan. Masilia. Masilia. Oh, Bostic. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're telling me they're going to be doing the uh, skim coat for the areas in the master that already have the uh, very smooth, the smooth walls. Yeah, not here, obviously. Uh, but down there at the yeah. end where the, the wall's already fairly smooth and they're not planning on doing any more work, uh, they're going to start doing the skim coat down there. Okay, over on the other side of the room, other side of the house. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still working plaster coat. In bedroom number two. Ah. So the foreman is working the window nose right here across the top and then our side bottom and then uh, Mr. Ben is still working the plaster coat all along the top portion of the wall. All right, a little post-lunch walk around. The uh, <clears throat> welders are working on the next truss that's coming from the corner of the hip down to the corner of the between the garage and the dirty kitchen here they've been working on that since uh lunch got over about 30 40 minutes ago <clears throat> here on the back um mr justin and jericho are both working the uh plaster coat just above the uh between the dirty kitchen and the living room oh the breakfast nook area okay so they're working on that let's go take a walk through the rest of the house see what people are working on uh, Mr. Alex over here is working on making stirrups. Um, these are going to be for the fence posts when they go to start making the, the perimeter fence. Um, might Should be sometime this week. Not really sure yet. Hadn't heard. <clears throat> um, okay, and back here in the uh, dining room area, these guys are making concrete by hand. 
I assume they're going to be using it to pour up here for the office and part of the, the um, part of the master's suite uh, closet and bathroom area. Uh, the top bond beam. Uh, try and finish up on some of these. So they've already got the sand and the, the uh, cement mixed together. Now they're putting in the rocks and then once they get enough rock in there they'll uh, they'll add water and start mixing it up a little bit at a time. Oh there's talk. <laughs> you moved over to plaster coating today huh? Oh you put in an additional. Great thank you. Got covered up huh? So Mr. Talk is going around the rooms and squaring out the outlets after the plaster coat got put over make sure that they got the uh, the right edging and Mr. Ben here is getting started on the lower half of the plaster coat again technique is plop 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 and then spread it out and they'll redo that the whole way across the door uh, the wall all right let's go see where some other folks are at. okay coming back into the master suite these guys up here are getting ready for concrete all right you guys are putting up uh, another truss um, this one coming from the end of the hip truss here down to the side over the garage door so you have this face we have this face here as well as where the tr the, the hip actually originates from and comes down to the corner by the dirty kitchen looking good um, over here, these guys are plaster coating and Justin over there is wrapping up his plaster coat and smoothing it out just slightly. Uh, that'll be the final finish on it.
All right, we're gonna start doing a last minute walk around. Um, it's about 4.15, we're gonna check and see where people are at. Uh, the welders here are still co are connecting some of the intermediate trusses. Um, he's prepping this one for where it's gonna be. It'll come off of the side of this truss here. It'll come off and meet this side. So these are support trusses um, that'll help hold up the rest. Um, so they're going to start here and work their back, way back around, work their way back around the front uh, over the next week or so. Okay. Some of these guys are also, uh, they finished pouring concrete on some of the other areas. Um, you saw in the drone footage where that was uh, completed over the, the bond beams over the top of the office. Uh, here in... the bedroom number two mr ben's wrapping up got a nice smooth finish on it getting it cleaned up all right let's go look around the front bit of finishing on the bottom try and close up some of the uh, some of the the gap between the flooring and these uh, and the walls but that'll also be covered up eventually with um, crown mold or with a cove base but you want to make sure that the, the the floor is actually sealed there you don't want any holes okay these guys up here in the um, inside the kitchen and the breakfast nook are prepping for tomorrow's work. They're putting on the uh, string lines that they need to, to find out how thick to make the plaster. So they'll work on that starting tomorrow and they'll finish up today just getting prep work done. All right, well, that's a wrap for Costa Texpina build day number 89 today. Um, Got a little bit more done with the uh, roof trusses. Uh, you see one here on one on the other side and the, the bracing was put in on the top ridge here for the, for the hip truss. Um, got a lot of concrete work done with the uh, top bond beams um, around the house. Um, some more plaster coating completed. Uh, another good day of uh, busy work and uh, consistent progress. Um, good to see. If you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.